<laughs> well, <laughs> we got up here. We could smell dead elk. I mean, snow's just covered everything. And we got to where we thought where we hit them. And uh, walking through these trees. <laughs> and that jumped out at us. Scared us half to death. Good nine degrees this morning. Action! Nine degrees, first day of the late season. Rifle hunt for elk here on the fit. We won't tell you where we're at. That's top secret. Brent had tipped us with the location of the bull that you can see on your far right. We were able to find him early that morning, but unfortunately he was higher on the mountain than what I had anticipated. He was the first bull that Kelly had gotten excited over. 
We watched him stand broadside for a good 20 minutes at 800 yards. We had no way to cut the distance before he made his way to bed. Even though we had a capable gun and shooter with a stable rest and virtually no wind, we concluded to wait for a better opportunity that night. That opportunity never did come as public land hunting got the best of us. As we were set up waiting, another hunter bumped the bulls out of their bedding spot and over the ridge. Finally, we had found a really good bull. The next morning, we set out in hopes of finding him again. Right off the bat, we had bumped three small bulls. Looking back at this video that I have, I believe they were the same bulls this big guy was hanging out with. Lucky for us, not all of our luck had run out. As we reached our destination, we spotted this bull on the ridge. Even though he wasn't the big bull from the night previous, we felt like he was one to try and punch her tag on. I ranged the bull at 475 yards. With an approximately 30 degree incline, we set the elevation dial for 6 and 3 quarter MOA and Kelly sent two bonds his way. Well, here we are. We're on day four of Kelly's elk hunt. Um, we'd seen a good bull in here the night before. Put him to bed. We got up in here this morning and uh, got another good bull. He wasn't the same one. Um, but Kelly put two shots on him at 475. You can't see it too well, that hillside up there. Uh, the first shot we just confirmed on video was a little bit far back. Um, the bull turned to us, had his rump. Um, obviously not the best area to try and hit him at, but 
where he already had a bullet in him, we weren't going to give any second chances. He put another one in him, confirmed that, that went right through the tailpipe. Um, he went in the trees, we're just kind of hoping that he's going to lay there and and die, but God, it's just, it's, it's hard to say. You never know what these bulls they can absorb so much. Um, snowing now. We were kind of looking forward to the snow. Now we're feeling like it's our worst friend. Um, but it's going to be a while to try and get up there. But hopefully that will give them enough time to hopefully be hurting a little bit. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got up here. We could smell dead elk. We could, snow's just covered everything. and We got to where we thought where we hit them. And uh, walking through these trees. <laughs> and that jumped out at us. Scared us half to death. Anyway, he's, he's down. We're glad we're, we found him. So now the hard work begins. How do you feel? Awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's been a, a fun, fun four days of hunting. Um, you know, we, we've seen a lot of elk, a lot of bulls. We haven't seen anything real big. He's, he's a pretty good one though. So just glad that we didn't have to go forever to find him. So over and out.